Welcome to Cambridge International A2 Chemistry Paper 5, video number 21. This video is a question paper 2014, October November session variant 5.2. The first question. The first question is about extraction of different metal from the alloy. The alloy consists here zinc, aluminium and copper. The highest amount is zinc, the lowest amount is copper. The reasons are sulfuric acid and ammonia. To extract this metal, the first step, we can use sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid reacts with zinc and makes zinc sulfate, react with aluminium and make aluminium sulfate and copper unreacted. The unreacted copper can be separated by filtration. The second step, we can use ammonia excess. The excess ammonia react with zinc ion and make zinc tetramine, but aluminium hydroxide PPD, this aluminium hydroxide precipitate can be separated by filtration. The third step, we can use sulfuric acid again. This sulfuric acid react with ammonia and make ammonium sulfate, which is present in zinc and zinc hydroxide precipitate again produced. This precipitate can be separated by filtration. For some of the state procedure, you need to be careful to add appropriate quantity of the reagent. First step, excess sulfuric acid to dissolve all the aluminium and zinc. The second step, excess ammonia to precipitate aluminium hydroxide and dissolve zinc hydroxide. And the third step, excess sulfuric acid to react with ammonia and produce precipitate of zinc hydroxide, but not so much that react with zinc hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide and zinc hydroxide have been extracted and difficult to dry, so it is better to convert them to their oxides by heating the hydroxide to the constant mass. The purpose of the experiment to confirm the composition of the solder was the experiment is kind of state. The measurement that could be taken and what you would do to the copper to make sure that the current value is obtained by this here the measure the mass of copper aluminium oxide and zinc oxide copper should be washed and dried if the oxide of aluminium was 1.5 gram we have to calculate the mass of aluminium metal for this calculation first i want to find out relative molecular mass of aluminium oxide is 1 or 2 from 102, we are getting aluminium 2 into 27, that is 54. From 1.5, this is multi multiplied, we are getting 0 0.794 gram. Question F. Even if the experimental difficulties of extraction of all the copper from the mixture were overcome, it would be difficult to obtain an accurate mass of copper from this experiment. The reason is that the mass of copper was very small. Now, question 2. The question 2 regarding the acid dissociation constant from a weak acid HM. The mass of weak acid is 2.70 gram and uh, it is dissolved to the exact volume of 250 cm3. From here, 25 cm3 is taken in the beaker. Here, gradually sodium hydroxide was added. So, initial pH of the acid is 2.41 and gradually sodium hydroxide was added pH value increases and finally it is increases to 12 and 36 cm cube sodium hydroxide was added. If we draw the graph, it will be just like that. pH value increases from 2.41 to the highest value and there is a uh, vertical height, constant vertical height. So in this vertical constant volume, this vertical height indicator color changes. From here, we have to find out the anomaly in question B. The anomalous point uh, is here, the line indicated, um, volume of sodium hydroxide 12, and the pH is 3.52. This anomalous point at uh, 12, 3.52, um, sodium hydroxide did not properly mix with the acid. This is the reason for this anomaly. Now, question C, what would be suitable range of pH values in which indicator would change the color 6.5 to 11 this is taken from the graph if we see the graph this this is the vertical height where volume is constant so 
this is this region p indicator color changes now question d 30 cm cube of aqueous sodium hydroxide is required to neutralize 25 cm cube of the acid ha but here if 15 cm cube aqueous sodium hydroxide have been added to 20, uh, 25 cm cube ha what are the ions or molecules present here since 15 cm cube aqueous sodium hydroxide uh, has been added so half of the acid remaining but NaA, NaA is the ionic compound this is produced so the ions are Na plus, A minus and HA. Uh, here uh, we have to find out the comparison of the concentration of the ions. Here the most of the ions will be A minus because both of the solution it is present and Na plus is the medium and HA is the least amount because this is weak acid. A half of the acid has been reacted and this is weak. Use yeah. your graph to determine the pH obtained from 15 cm vacuous sodium hydroxide. Um, so from the graph, 15 cm sodium hydroxide, the pH is 3.9. So 3. Point pH is equal to 3.9 log 10 H plus. From here, H plus is 1.26 10 to the power 6. However, the acid has been reacted. Acid reacts to make H plus and I minus from here K A acid dissociation and cost equation. Putting this value of base plus and a minus, we are getting 1.26 into 10 to the power minus 4. And the questions using your answer to E and the initial volume, initial value of pH from H at the table uh, calculated the concentration of H in mole per dm cube. So initial pH is 2.41, pH is equal to minus log H plus. From here, H plus is 3.98 10 to the power minus 10. Again, we are writing the acid dissociation cost of the equation. From here, uh, if we put the value of Ka and H plus, we are getting the concentration of HA 0.12 mole per dm cube. Now, question 2. From here, we have to find out uh, the initial concentration of H in gram per dm cube and then the relative molecular mass. The mass is given 2.70 gram and the volume is 250 cm cube from here. 2.7 divided by 250 in dm cube is 0 0.25. Uh, by dividing, we are getting 10.8 gram per dm cube. This is concentration. Another concentration where we have found in previous question, we want to see this question 0.12 mole per dm cube, 0.12 mole per dm cube is concentration and 0. Point, uh, and 10.8 gram per dm cube another concentration from these two we can get 10.8 divided by relative molecular mass that is 0. 0.12 that is uh, gram per dm cube divided by mr is equal to mole per dm cube so we are getting mr is equal to even very careful and accurate apparatus but uh, Molecular mass of base is likely, be, likely to be subjected to error. The reason suggests the pH from water is ignored. Thank you very much. This is the end of video 21.